in this video, we're gonna do some soccer drills, some soccer dribbling drills. And I'm just gonna kind of freestyle this, show you a bunch of different drills that you can use to improve your skills. First one that we would do, and you've seen this before, it's these footwork drills. So this is dribbling, yes, but footwork, I think that's foundation. These little touches help you when you're doing more match realistic touches. So start with the little stuff, the taps. I like these touches. These are some of the basics that I always do. The croquetta touch, like an Iniesta touch, the cuts. So whether that's one foot cuts, but also bending in these, getting low to the ground, both feet, changes of direction. Okay, then you can do those things moving. So if I just did the first touches, actually going places, whether that's front and back, from different directions. Okay, if you did that croquetta touch, hooey. And if you make mistakes, just go again. But actually moving places with these touches, inside, outside cut. <clears throat> so those would be the first footwork drills that I would recommend. Moving into dribbling, actually with the head up, but changes of direction. Something like that. So when you're changing direction, yes, you're focusing on the quality of the touch, but you're also focusing on the quality of the movement, the body control. Okay, so when I make that touch, my upper body can't be here if I wanna move, change direction efficiently. I want it to be down here. Because even if I have a bad touch, I'm on top of the ball, I can react quickly. If you're cutting, you're changing direction up here, slow, and if you do get a little bit of contact from a defender, he's gonna push you off the ball. So. Whenever you're turning, change direction, think about the sharpness of your touch, yes, but sharpness of your body movement as well. Next, you could do some 1v1 dribbling skills. So let's bring this guy out. Practicing attacking a defender. So first one might be something like that. These are all skills you've seen me do a hundred times, but I like efficient skills that actually work. Okay, so when I'm doing these skills, again, the turn's still there, the forward's still there. Now we're incorporating attacking someone. The timing of the move is extremely important. If I make my move too late, He's gonna tackle me. If I make it too early, he's still gonna be in front of me. So over time, you're gonna find the perfect distance to make this move at. With somewhere in here, I wanna force him to bite. Force him to lunge for the ball, or force him to shift his body, his body control or his body positioning in one direction. If I want this space, if you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. I want to push him that space. And if I want that space, I want to push him this space. Okay, so when you're practicing this, skills are great. But let's make it match realistic. Because if you practice slow, you play slow. Yeah, it's good practicing my skills. But if I make my move and accelerate with that pace, I'm gonna get tackled every time. So when you make your move, quick change of direction. Really focus on, after I make my move, this step here, boom, try to get away from it a little bit. Because what's gonna happen, if you're too slow, I might shift him 
I might force him to go that way. But because I don't get away quickly, now I have to beat him again. Now I have to beat him again. And again, and I might have good skill, and I might beat him five times, but I haven't gone anywhere with the ball. So focus, after you make that move, get away. Good. So I'm not big for cones, but if you like using cones, let's do a few cone drills. And now we'll breathe and recover in between. Talking and playing at the same time. Makes for good video content. Tough to do. Okay, cones are good for you to practice your technique. The only problem I have with cones is it's not match realistic. In a game, you're not going to dribble the same pattern 10 times in a row. But for foundational skills, young players, it's a good place to start. So what I love doing through the cones is the cuts. Okay, if you watch most players do this, especially young players, what is it? It's one, two, three. Or you see these little touches like this. Yeah, it's a good place to start, but it's not match realistic. In a match, you usually only have one touch to get away from the defender. And if you make a mistake like that, what do you do? You go again. If you're not making mistakes, that means the intensity of your training is not high enough. So you're not playing quickly enough, or you're not forcing yourself to dribble when you're tired. You have to learn how to play when you're tired because when you're tired, the game does not stop. Okay, so cones, I think are really good for cuts, but is it match realistic? The last drill I'm gonna show you today, dribbling drill, is what I call like a freestyle dribble. So you can do this with cones. I like to do this with balls. They're a little bigger, a little more of an obstacle to get around. But I might just set up some balls like this and then freestyle dribble. Don't stop the ball. Don't stop moving. When you get tired, keep going. If you make a mistake, recover quickly in and out. Be creative. Dribbling is also about creativity. If you're doing the same pattern every time, you're easy to defend. If you go the same way every time, you're easy to defend. Wait. Have some fun with it. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.